I'm here with the former heavyweight champion Stipe Miocic, who we've just heard is going to fight John Jones in November, Madison Square Garden. The announcement's been made. What are your first sort of reactions and, and thoughts about this fight coming up? And new. You know, I'm bringing my belt back. You know, uh, just excited. Finally, it's, it's a long time coming. You know, it's a fight you want. It's a fight I definitely want. I've been wanting this fight for a long time, and you know, it's finally it's came. Well, you were there in March when John Jones went up to heavyweight and he, he won against Cyril Garn. The fight didn't last very long, but what did you take from that, you know, if anything? I mean, there's not much you can take from me. You know, it doesn't matter. It's John Jones. He's got a lot, a lot, a lot of tricks up his sleeve and he's a great fighter. He's one of the best of all time. So, you know, I'm going to be ready for what he brings for me on November 11th. It's going to have some fun. I was actually talking to Mark Coleman earlier and, and he was saying that, you know, you know, you're looking in incredible shape, which you absolutely are. And, and you're you're going to come in sort of bigger, stronger and probably a little bit heavier for this fight. Yeah, you know, definitely. I'm at 245, 250. It depends what day of the week and if my kids let me eat. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm definitely closer to 250. And are you already in training for this? Yeah, oh yeah, I've always been training. It's been yeah. great. You know, my body rests all at the same time and not pushing it too much. But um, I've been training, you know, having fun. And honestly, it's been, it's been great. There's a smile on your face, so I can tell you're excited for this fight, but we haven't seen you for quite a while now. Um, does that kind of a break or layoff, if you like, give you time to obviously let the body heal, but also to, to build up that excitement to the, for the fight, but also to sort of work on other things, other strategies, other skills? You know, I've been doing it, you've been doing it a long time, but, but anything that you can add to your arsenal? Oh, 100%, definitely. There's always working on something new, something to think about, something we see, something I do. Just, you know, that's why I have the best coaches in the world. You know, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be where I'm at. And, you know, having this opportunity and uh, you know, I'm going to take this opportunity to make the best of it. And I know you're obviously still active as a firefighter, mm -hmm. but uh, again, Mark Coleman was saying like he hopes that maybe you're given a couple of months off to no, just focus on fighting, no? I'm going no? to no, do what I always do. I'm going to work and train. Does that, how does that impact your time and your recovery time, though? Uh, I'm good. I, I, I make sure, you know, I'll be all right. I, I have a good strategy <laughs> how I do everything. You know, don't, don't, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, so we're good. And I get, get the impression that the, the guys at the station keep you sort of humble and uh, oh, down yeah. to earth. There's no question, especially <laughs> the new one. They're, they definitely hammer me uh, in a good way. You know, it's, uh, they're all great guys. And, uh, you know, I'm very lucky to be at the department that I'm at. And you've got your belt and it doesn't matter to them, right? When you came home champion, that was still kind I'm of like, get to work. Actually. I'm in a new one now. Oh, okay. So it's even worse now. <laughs> so, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're just uh, very lucky. They're very supportive. And, you know, it's great to have those guys behind me and backing me. And for this fight to take place at Madison Square Garden, how special is that? Oh, it's amazing. You know, I got the fight in Boston, which is amazing. But then, yeah. you know, the Mecca, you know, Madison Square Garden, everyone talks about it's, uh, it's going to be a uh, bucket list check. There we go. And um, we were hoping maybe this week we'd see a bit of a press conference between the two of you. But I understood the deal got done quite late. You know, was it was it a was it a difficult deal to get over the line, if you like? Oh, no, it, was, uh, no, it just took some time, but here we are. You know, I, I was good to go, so. All right, and of course we're here at UFC 290. It's been such a spectacular card tonight, from the fast finishes, legends such as Robbie Lawler retiring on top. I mean, what's your assessment of tonight? I mean, it was action packed. It was great. I mean, that co-main was absolutely amazing. Like, I was like, my wife was like, grab me. So I like, oh my God, you know, it was, uh, honestly, it was a great card. Now it was a great for an international fight. It was perfect. And you said about the co-main event, as a heavyweight yourself, watching the flyweights and the speed at which they- I was getting tired. I was getting tired watching them. I was like, man, God bless them. And what have you got to say about Alexander Volkanovsky? I mean, he just he's seems to be star. too good. The man's yeah. a stud. He has, he has a great game plan every time. And he sticks to it. And, uh, you know, I mean, he's, 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 he's the best. And any words on Robbie Lawler? God bless him. He's a, he's a baller. You know, like, he's just an OG. And uh, God bless him. Wish nothing but the best. All right. Well, it's so good to talk to you. Best of luck with camp. And we'll see you in New York. Thank you. Yeah, 100%. November 11th.